In an early morning session on Wednesday, Parliament, through the various party whips, designated members to different sectoral committees of Parliament. This follows the start of the fourth session of the 11th Parliament, but this also comes at a time when the August House is on spot of our corruption tendencies. Sectoral committees of Parliament have a responsibility not far from deliberating on policy matters affecting line ministries and sectors, including valuation of the respective budget estimates. The sectoral committees consists of not less than 15 members and not more than 30 members. Keeping with the directives of the government chief whip, Hamson Obua, was the first to designate members but most of the committees had not designated persons and their deputies, while others had the previous leaders dropped. On the Committee on Defense and Internal Affairs, I propose to designate the following. Honorable Wilson Kajwenge, Chairperson. Honorable Ngompex Linos, Deputy Chairperson. Members, Honorable Neon Shaba Alex, Honorable Ochero Norman. Obua informed the House of ongoing consultation process to fill the pending vacancies. We are consulting and we shall come back on the floor and fulfill the rules of procedure of this parliament. Meanwhile, parliament has rejected names of MPs Abed Buanika and Joyce Bagala all from the National Unity Platform to steer leadership to the Committee on Government Assurance and Implementations as chairperson and deputy, respectively. While justifying the House position, the Speaker Anit Anita Among reminded the opposition whip, John Baptist Nambeshe, of a past precedent that the House can deny a party position. To redesignate the Honorable Seungu Konzaka Joseph as chairperson, and the Honorable Naruima Beso, Beso Betty as Deputy Chairperson of the Committee. I hereby redesignate them. That when you brought Dr. Bed to be a chair, it was approved by this house. Now, what they are asking you to tell them why you are withdrawing them. Much as the rules are there, and they are saying you can withdraw any time you feel like, it is just. The position leadership accused their own of incompetence and failing to hold sittings of the Government Assurance Committee. Party leadership, the latitude to, at any time of their tenure, to redeploy them or to withdraw them and redeploy others. That is the rule. And There's the an order here. The House that sat on Wednesday to designate members to different sector committees of parliament where the position wing used the chance to request that they redesignate some leaders of the standing committee. We think that that's a very serious committee that has got to be active. The two leaders have of recent kept away from the noob party position to remove Nyendo Mukungwe, MP Mathias Mpuga, from the Parliamentary Commission after allegations of corruption tendencies in disguise of a service award. The lead of opposition, Joel Sonyeni, tried to convince the House of the alleged incompetency of the leaders, but in vain after the Speaker put a question and members voted against it. I think it's important that uh, this House appreciates multi-party democracy. Yes, have it. Member of Parliament Amos Kankunda maintained position of the chairperson of the Finance Committee.